Hey guys, welcome to Freak Motion. Today we are going to create this. Without any further ado, let's jump into the After Effects. Let's create a composition with full HD settings as usual. Make the duration 10 seconds. I am going to use some files for this project, and download link for everything will be in the description. Alright, now bring the logo in the timeline and adjust its size. Now, pre-compass the image and make sure to check move all attributes. Name it something you want and hit OK. Now select the layer, go to layer menu and select auto trace. Leave the all setting as it is and hit OK. Now search for saber effect and apply it on the layer. Then go to presets and select energize and change the color you want. Then open customize core and change the core type to layer mask. Change the glow intensity to 45% and glow speed to 0.5 and glow bias to 0.5. Also change the core size to 3. Now, open Flicker and change the Flicker Intensity value to 100%. By doing this, it will glow from different position randomly. Now open Distortion and change the Distortion type to Smoke. Change the Wind Speed to 2. Now, go to the render settings and adjust these settings according to your need. Now change the composition settings to transparent. Let's create a solid layer for background. Go to Effects and Presets and search for Fill. And change the color to a dark purple to match our whole composition. Now I am going to use a video clip for our character. A special thanks to Petr Rusev for making green screen of this character. Make sure to check out his channel for awesome green screen clips. There is lots of videos for how to remove green screen, so I am not showing this here. I will try to upload this clip with the project file. Now select the layer, go to effect, then color correction, then select curves. Adjust the curves a little bit, so it blends with the background. Now I am going to use this glitch text effect in this project. Adjust its position like this. If you want to know how to create this, just click on the I button. Let's create an another composition and name it light. Now create a solid layer. Then go to Effects and Presets and search for Lens Flare. Apply it on the layer. Then change the lens type to 105mm prime. Adjust the flare brightness a little bit.
then search for curves, apply it on the layer. Now drag this curves just like this. And increase the flare brightness a little bit. Now go to Effects Panel, then Color Correction, then select Hue Saturation. Check the Colorize box. And change the color you want. Our light is ready, let's animate it. Select the layer, and press T to open opacity. Now go to the first frame and set the value 0, then go forward to 4 frames and set the value to 70. Then go forward to 4 frames more, and set the value to 0 again, then after 4 frames change the value to 100. And at the end, change the value to 0 again. So it disappear after this time. Let's create another composition, and name it Light Flicker. Now create a solid layer, but this time change the background color to white. Let's trim this layer by pressing Alt plus closing bracket. Then press T to open opacity, and do similar to the light. Watch carefully. It seems too slow, so let's decrease the duration. Now select all the keyframes, and click on this stopwatch icon by holding Alt key. Now click on this arrow icon, go to property, and select loop out duration. Our light flicker is done, now we just need to place it in the timeline properly. Let's go back to our main composition. Alright now make a duplicate of this text layer. And place it after 5 seconds, so it stays to the end of the animation. Now let's place the compositions in our timeline one by one, and adjust the position and timing of this. Please watch this video carefully. I fast forward this portion, so you guys don't get bored. You can easily understand this, just place the light layer, and light flicker layer at the beginning, and adjust their position. You can add your name here. Just apply old TV2 effect on the name, so it matches with the composition. Make sure to set wave height and width value too.
also add keyframes on opacity so it reveals after the light animation. You can add shadow effect for more detailing. You don't need to follow my every steps and every values. I suggest you guys to play with the values for different results, maybe that looks much better than this. I just show you the way, but destination is yours. Press spacebar to ramp review it. Wow. Looks so good to me. Let's wrap it up for today. And, hey, always try to think outside the box. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give a thumbs up. And if you really want these kinds of cool tutorials then hit the subscribe button. See you guys in the next video. Signing out. Peace.